No, no, no. Way too tired. So if you have don't have any more questions, I'm going to hit the hay. I know you do, bonehead. I have a few. Uh, do I have questions? Or... What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? You know I do, bonehead. Now, okay, last time we left off, we have to answer this question. You know I do, bonehead, I have a few questions. Nah, nah, nah. Bonehead, that's good. Don't, why did I think of that? He was really clever. Yeah, we are. It's good to think that I have more questions, so I'm gonna do you a solid. It's gonna be super helpful like that. You should be thankful. So if there's any third interruptions, it's time for... Skelly is pulse stopping, skin melting, brain exploding. I'd very much like to be sleeping now. Quiz. Oh, a quiz? Oh, I'm gonna ask you, a, you, I'm gonna let you ask me four questions before I go to sleep. Is that clear? Info? From her? She, was she even capable of giving out information that I wasn't prepared to bizarre internet lingo? Then again, she had been helpful so far. Snake bitches. Is that a thing? Dragons. I'd want to hear about dragons. Skeletons. How does this work? Yeah, I'll do the last question. Can this be fry interested in skeleton lore? Well, wow, well, old skeleton LJ ed educate you, ejaculate you. All of the undead corpse monsters and skeletons are definitely the smartest. If you don't count liches, vampires, and weights, and Delian, but they are fairies or something, right? Okay, okay, I'm not not the smartest, but it's real high up there. Goals are violent bugs, thugs. They only care about ripping people into shreds. Mummies are single-minded. They don't care about anything but whoever's obsessing over that week. Zombies are the worst loud selfish thugs that only live for pleasure and flesh eating. It's a good thing you don't have any flesh. Tits! N terrible, terrible people. But skeletons, we're, we're, we're the best. Skeletons are clever and doctors and scholars and plow with friends with a skeleton. I did it with health. I did it with health. I don't need a fuck. Plus, the god of death's a skeleton. I need to choose my choices wisely or she might call death upon me. Skeletons are rare too. Reviving someone with a specific spell is the only way to become a skeleton. So, you have boobs as a skeleton. Somehow. So, if I become a skeleton, would my dick also become skeleton-like? <laughs> or, well, technically, since it's called a boner. -er. <laughs> That's the only way of getting drafted into the skeleton war. But we're not as disgustingly common as zombies, and that's why we're important. I've got, I've got some books. They're happy, of, happy to lend them to you. Skeleton war, zombies, like our brains and shit. It's, Fry's interest in Skeleton War seemingly has no end. It's great, really. Every 100 years or so, the God of Death remains a ton of skeleton humans and forces them to fight for glory and noble art. Brother against brother, son against father, mother against daughter, and friend against friend. It lasts for two months and the skeleton left standing gets another chance at life. That sounds, that sounds like a good challenge right there. Do not go on that challenge, I don't want to. Occasionally things go off the rails and humans get involved. You know, things get a kind of a mess. But aside from that, it's really great. Super great. Super duper great. Uh, father said he should let me and Scully in the front row tickets next time. Wait, people get to watch this war? What are y'all guys doing? Fry should join us. It'll be fun. Yes, war is fun. War is fun. She does understand that she'll be dead by then, right? Frankly, you're lucky you got 10 more years on you. That is to say, you ignored that comment and asked another question. Fairies. What's a Delahim? Did you hear about the Legend of Sleepy Hollow? Uh, no. I'm gonna be honest, no. They're like that headless horseman types. Although I can't remember the last time I saw one actually riding a horse. Delay means that most of them are blood knights, so whatever that means. I think I read that somewhere that they're afraid or for gold for some reason. Oh, and I heard that on this occasion, the head and the body, how hilarious can that be? Oh, I didn't read that! The head can't walk and the body can't talk fighting for supremacy. It did be your own personal cage match, 24-7! Oh, oh, and I also heard that if they lose their head and their body has a different personality, the body takes over. So they're gonna take, create the shift, makeshift head, so they don't stand out. 
I wonder what that happens in the hidden situation. I guess they're really not to know by then, huh? Oh, oh and the Chillin's War is the kind of my favorite magical girl show. We should watch it later. I don't have a free country roll account, but I do know I will watch it if it's um mature. I do. I have brought a tape with me, so don't try to weasel out of it. Oh uh, yeah. Well, unless uh, you know you're into that stuff. No, I'm, I always sleep during movies. I'm sorry. Oh sh. Look how late it is! I, I owe you a question, right? Wait, don't sleep yet. I got something. I brought a tape. Watch it with me. For I expected it to be like a weird fetish porn of some site. But to much of the surprise, it was a magical girl show. The plot involved in the ordinary girl that turned magical fender. Her magical wand gave the ability to change into an axe. Many of her limbs were lost as the show went on. In addition to her hand, wand, she carried a few other items. Like a love love lantern that like, would illuminate the way for lost souls to unlock a door or a chest. Or a magical maiden mirror that wasn't allowed for her to make battlefields various monsters of the week. And the show knows how to use alliteration. Monster maiden matter. Something called a cutie card container that would go to, to tell every monster defeated gave up a card and the cards are stored in there. When her main power, however, uh, involved her removing her head and changing it into the various things. She didn't understand that at all. It was a villain called King Midas, a leban and turning everyone into gold. That was confusing as well, but I know that story. That's actual Greek mythology. Uh, aside from those quirks, it was basically by the numbers a magical girl show. But what is a magical sh girl show without fan service? I was warned that the quality of the type and her ability to recite every single line wasn't or suggested that it wasn't her first time watching it. Despite this, she never took her eyes off the screen. Not to even sing the theme song or reenact the main character's signature catchphrase. I am the embodiment of love and hope, and justice flows through my veins. You don't have veins, you're a skeleton! That's Returned from whence you came, vengeful spirit. Lucky love Link. But a little wordy, but it had its charm. Her enthusiasm made it hard for him to get bored, and he found himself enjoying it by episode 5. Which made episode 12 even more, all more painful. The hero, lovely Ladette Lane. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna... Make a save point right about here. What? A new save? So I'm gonna end the recording right there. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna try and get time to this video. If you liked it, make sure to uh, leave a like rate with a thumbs up and give this video a subscribe to join the Nitro Nation. And for more, if you want to guys see more Monster Girl gaming, make sure to comment down below and see me that like rate. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys all did enjoy. Uh, make sure to tune in. But until next time, I'll see you fries later. Peace out, people!